Mr. Speaker, I ask number 12 in my name, again of the Honorable Prime Minister, who is regrettably unable to be here today. Very unusual, he normally would postpone Parliament, you know, in a situation like this. That's for another discussion. The recent independence parade and the continued improved performance of the police band is a timely reminder of the historic contribution that the former organization named the Police Band Cadets made to the force, and by extension, in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Could the Honorable Prime Minister indicate why the Police Band Cadets were disbanded? And B, has the musical coherence of the force been compromised in any way as a consequence of the disbandment? And C, would any consideration be given to returning to the earlier successful practice of having bankers to provide music to the police force. The leader of the House, Mr. Louis Stricker. Mr. Speaker, let me just respond to the statement made by the honorable member for Central Kingstown that the Prime Minister was of a mind to postpone the Parliament, but he did that once before. And he really wants to get the bill, the substantive bill that we'll be dealing with today, the OSHA bill, passed. That is the only reason why he did not want to postpone it a second time. But in answer to your question, A, the Royal St. Vincent de Grenadines Police Band Cadet was formed in mid-1953. It was formed as a nursery for the police band where males between the ages of 13 to 16 were taken as musical apprentice. These individuals were boys who were either not accepted into a secondary school because some of them did not meet the then educational standard for their, or their parents were not able to finance their education. The police band cadets have therefore not been disbanded, but has since been phased out with the coming on stream of the education revolution and the universal access to secondary education as all students of secondary school age are given access to secondary school. This thus resulting in the program suffering from lack of available persons. B. The music requirements of the force has have the music requirements of the force have not been compromised in any way. On the contrary, it has improved. Steel pan and other instruments have been added to the band. The band members have been conducting music lessons in several secondary and primary schools. These schools are Georgetown Secondary, Central Leeward Secondary, Trumaca Primary, New Grounds Primary, Georgetown Primary, South Rivers Primary, Union Island Primary. The police band has done the musical accompaniment to all the carnival finals for the past 20 years. The services of the band were not employed for the services of the band were also employed for approximately 52 functions in 2016 and 42 functions in 2017 thus far, including funerals, processions, opening closing official ceremonies, parades, and sporting events. Four members of the police band have also undertaken programs at the Barbados Community College pursuing their degree in music to have completed to date. Additionally, the police band has trained a total of 847 persons between the ages of nine and 15 to play various musical instruments. These are also a source from which the police band can use to replenish the police band. It must be noted that there has been zero complaint about the performance of the police band. They have also received a number of commendations, plaques, certificates of appreciation, and awards from members of the public 
for services rendered. This is evidence that the requirements of the police band are not compromised. C. I would not concede that the practice was a successful one for reasons mentioned above as to the history of the police cadets. This would be saying that universal access to secondary education should be replaced by that practice. Also, I would not recommend that the organization return to that practice. Currently, 10 young, young persons are attached to the police band as apprentices. They are employed as yes workers. The intention of the police department is that some of those persons can be later permanently employed as police officers based on their attitude and performance. These are persons who have completed at least secondary school. It is therefore a win-win situation. The police department on the whole is making every effort to improve the educational standards of its members.